Hello folks, welcome to this series of AWS services and we are talking about networking and VPC. So today we'll talk about internet gateways and egress only internet gateways. So if you see, so if you see the position of internet gateways, you can see they are directly attached to the VPC. One VPC can always have one and only one internet gateway. Internet gateway is there to facilitate the connection between the instances within the VPC with the external internet available. So for any communication between instance and internet has to go through internet gateways. Now internet gateway is a AWS service which is fully managed by AWS. This is horizontally scalable. It has got redundancy managed again fully by AWS and so it is very highly available. So you don't have to think about the availability aspect of the internet gateway. That is you don't have to think about what if the internet gateway goes down or what if there is a lot of traffic coming from the internet. All those aspects would be managed by AWS. AWS will dynamically scale up. AWS will dynamically scale out internet gateways. If there is high demand or high internet traffic, it will make sure that if one of the internet gateways goes down internally, it has the mechanism to bring up another internet gateway. So your traffic would not be disturbed at all. So to ensure that your instances are connected properly to the internet, you need to make sure following points to make sure that your instance is connected to the internet. You have to make sure about following conditions. First of all, an internet gateway should exist there and it should be attached to your VPC. Then in your associated route table, there should be a route which points to the internet gateway. Third is that the instance which is making that internet request either must have a public IP or it must be communicating through a NAT gateway. We'll talk about net gateway in the subsequent videos. It also need to make sure that traffic. It also need to make sure that traffic is allowed to go through network access control list and the security group. So if your public instances have any problem with connecting to the internet, go through at least these four points. So how to create an internet gateway? Creating an internet gateway is very easy. You just need to go to the VPC dashboard, go to the internet gateway. And here you just create internet gateway. Just click on that and you can give it a name. My demo internet gateway and that's all. You can create it, but creating is not enough. You also need to attach it to that particular VPC. So right now you can see that my internet gateway is detached. My other internet gateway, which was default in the internet gateway, is attached to default to VPC. So now if I try to attach it, I don't have a VPC available here in this region. Otherwise it will show it in this drop down and I can just select and attach. That's all you need to do to attach an internet gateway to a particular VPC. Deleting an internet gateway is also very easy. So I'm going to delete it. You just need to select that internet gateway and just click on delete. So that was about internet gateway. We also have something called egress only internet gateway. Now, as you understand, egress means outbound. So if you want to have an instance which you want to connect to the internet, but you don't want internet to initiate any communication, the communication must have been started by the instance within your VPC. If you want that kind of internet connection that is originating from the VPC, but not originating from the outside of the VPC, then you can use egress only internet gateway. The limitation of egress only internet gateway is that it is applied only on the instances which has got IPv6 address. So egress only internet gateway doesn't work with instances which has got IPv4 address. If you have got an instance which has IPv4 address and there also you want the same thing, that is instance initiated internet communication you want, then you can use NAT gateways instead of egress only internet gateways. So egress only internet gateways are stateful, which means that it sends the traffic originated from the instance to the internet and whatever is the response that is sent back to the instance. So that was all about the internet gateway and egress only internet gateway. Again, to create an egress only internet gateway, you just need to go and hit the tab and you have to just create an egress only internet gateway and select a VPC, whatever is available and create. 
That's all you need to do to create an egress only internet gateway. To delete it again, you just need to go and delete it. But having said that, to work with internet gateway as well as egress only internet gateway, you need to also make sure that the entries are there in the corresponding route tables. So with this note, we conclude this video. Keep learning from the subsequent videos so that you can get the full picture of the VPC networking. So see you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.